Hey everyone, my name is Ishan and I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will talk about project plan in Excel. We will learn about a project plan and how we can make an effective plan in Microsoft Excel. Before we begin, let's have a look at all the topics we will be covering today. First, we will see the basics of a project plan. Then, we will check the process of project management in Microsoft Excel and why should one refer to Microsoft Excel. Apart from this, we will learn about how to make a Gantt chart in Excel. Towards the end, we will check some Microsoft Excel templates. So without any further ado, Let's get started. Let's see what is a project plan. Project plan is a basic thing that is needed to execute a project. According to Project Management Book of Knowledge, a project can be defined as an approved elaborative document that guides the team during project execution and project control. When we are making a project plan, a project plan must answer several questions for us. These questions are like, what are we expecting our project to deliver? How are we expecting to get our deliverables within the desired time? Who all will be a part of our project and what tasks they will have in the project. When will the project start and when it is expected to end? That is the deadlines of the project. Now, let us learn about project management in Excel. Microsoft Excel is one of the most common application these days. It is used in both offices and at homes. Microsoft Excel is an easy project management tool that allows the team members to easily see the tasks in a project, develop a plan and track its progress. Before we learn more about project management in Excel, let's first have a look why do we use Excel. Microsoft Excel is an easy tool to plan a project, so it can be used by people who are beginners in terms of project management. In Excel, one can find several analytical tools like concatenate, len and counter, so this makes data analysis easy and effective. As the entry of data is easy, same is tracking and controlling of project status. Then there are several project management templates in Excel that help us to have an effective distribution of project data. We will be checking several project management templates towards the end of this video. Now, let's have a look at the process of making a Gantt chart in Excel. Before we begin this, it's important we know what is a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is like an horizontal bar chart that is used for project management. With the help of a Gantt chart, we can check the status of the task, the date they start, the date they end and their dependencies on each other. Gantt chart helps in coordinating and monitoring different tasks in a project. Now, let's have a look at the steps that will help us in making a Gantt chart. First step we have is make a project table. We have several rows and columns like here we have three columns. In the first column we have the tasks, in the second we have our start date and in the third column we have the duration or tenure of the task. The second step is to make a bar chart in Excel. For this we will select the entire second column then we will go on the insert tab and click on the bar graph chart. There we can select stacked bar graph in 2D bar charts. As a result we will have the entitled bar graph on the screen. In the third step we will add the duration to the bar graph. We will right click on the chart and in the menu that appears we will select select data option. A window that appears on the screen in that window we will select add option as shown. We can also see the start date is already in the entry section. Then in the dialog box that appears type tenure in the series name and click on the range selection icon that's shown in the figure. Now select the relevant data from the tenure column and click on OK. Now we can see a bar graph that has two colors on the screen. This bar graph now has the duration of the tasks. The fourth step we have is adding description to the Gantt chart. Now we will open the box again and in that box we will select the edit option as shown in the figure. Then we will select the tasks as we had selected the duration of the tasks before and click on OK. We can now see the tasks have appeared towards the left side of the Gantt chart. The fifth and the remarkable step will help us convert this bar graph into a Gantt chart. We will now click on the bars and select the format data series option from the menu that appears. Then in the format data series dialog box, we will select no fill option. We can find our Gantt chart on the screen now in accordance with the data that we had entered. Now we can see the tasks on the left side are in the reverse order. So what we will do next is we will click on the task panel, then go to the format access dialog box and select the categories in reverse order option. Now we can find our tasks in the right order. One more thing we can notice is Gantt chart is starting with some other date and not with the dates that we had entered. So for this, we will copy the first date in some other cell, then clicking on the copied cell, we will go to the home menu to select the dialog box as shown in the figure. Then in that drop down menu, we will select the number option. We can now find a value displayed in the copied cell. We will copy that value, click on the dates on the chart and as the format access dialog box opens, we will paste that value in the box that says minimum shown in the figure. As a result, we will have our final Gantt chart on the screen. In the last step, we can give several designs to a Gantt chart, change colors and make it more presentable for us. Now when we know the basic steps of making a Gantt chart, I will show that practically to you in Microsoft Excel. Our first step is to open Microsoft Excel. 
and in Microsoft Excel, we will make a project table. In a project table, we will have three columns. The first column will be task. The second column will have the start date. The third column will have tenure or the duration of the task. So beginning with tasks, we have task one. In task one, we have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Then comes task two. In task two, we have 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, and 2.4 then we have task 3 in task 3 we will have two subsections 3.1 and 3.2 then we will start with the starting dates in starting dates we will put 1st january the task 1 1.1 will be 1st of january then this will be 4th january let's say this is 5th january then we will put this as 11th of january and this will be again 11th january only this will be 15th January. Let's put this as 17th January. Let this be 19th January. Task 3 begins on 23rd January. And it the 3.2 section begins at 26th of January. Now let's put the tenure or the duration of the task. We will begin with task 1. It takes 12 days. Then 1.1 takes 7 days. We say this takes 4 days. And this takes 8 days. Then for task 2, it again takes 12 days. It takes 5 days, 5 days and let's say this takes 6 days and this takes 4 days. Then we come to task 3. This takes 8 days and let's say this takes 6 days and the 3.2 section takes 5 days. So this is how our project table is ready. In the second step, we will select the entire second column. After we have selected this column, we will go to the insert tab. In the insert tab, we will go to the bar columns and in this we will select 2D stacked bar charts. Now we have the entitled bar chart in accordance to our data on the screen. Then comes the third step. We will add the duration of the tasks to the bar graph. We will click on the chart and after we click on the chart, we will select select data option. In the select data source dialog box, we find the start date is already there. Now we will click on add and after we click on add in the series name section, we will put tenure. Then in the series value, we will click on this icon and select the entire tenure series and click on OK. So this is the bar graph that we have now. This is now in two colors, the orange color and the blue color. This bar graph now has the duration of all the tasks in our project table. Now in the fourth step, now it's time for us to add description to our Gantt chart. Instead of this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we will put task 1, task 2 and the subtasks. So what we will do is, we will again go to that box. We will left click on the Gantt chart, select the select data option and then we'll go to the start date. Here, we'll select the edit option. In the edit option, we will select all the tasks and click on OK. Now we can see all the tasks are aligned towards the left of the bar chart. As we can see, this is a bar chart or a bar graph and not a Gantt chart. The next step we have is converting this bar graph into a Gantt chart. So we will click on the bars and select the format data series option from the menu that appears. Here we have this format data series option. Now we can see the dialog box on the screen. Here we will go into the color section, fill section and then we will select no fill. Now we can see the blue lines have disappeared. So this looks like a Gantt chart. So now when we have a Gantt chart on the screen, we can notice that the tasks here are in the reverse order. So what we will do is we will click on these tasks and select the format access option. Here, we will select categories in reverse order. We can see our Gantt chart is now in order like we have our task 1 on the top and task 3 at the bottom. The dates are starting from 11th of December but the dates we have provided are from 1st of January. Now we will copy this cell then go on the dates box. Here, we will go to format access. In the format access, we can see minimum in this minimum, we will paste this value and press enter. As we press enter, we can see our Gantt chart starting from the date that we wanted to start and that too in the correct order starting from task 1 to task 3. Now as a result, we have our final Gantt chart on the screen. In the last step, what we can do is make our Gantt chart more representable. We can change the color of these bars, we can give them shapes and we can do many other things to make it more presentable. We will first select the bars like what we will do is we will select task 1 and let's say we give it the color blue. Then task 2 
we will give it color green and in task 3 we'll give it, give it the color black so here the subsections will give different colors to the subsections as well then we come to task 2.1 this is how we can change the color of these cells or apart from changing colors we can select a bar graph and do the gradient fill so this is how we can make a gantt chart more presentable after changing the colors or changing the shapes we have our final gantt chart on the screen Finally, let's have a look at some Microsoft Excel templates for project management. Microsoft Excel templates help in collecting data, putting them into order and check their dependencies with each other. With the help of these templates, we can monitor the status of the tasks and we can also check the progress our project has made. Moving forth, we will check some important Microsoft Excel templates. The first template we have is Excel Project Review Template. This template helps us have an overview of the project. We can have a clear understanding of all the tasks that are planned and that are completed. This helps project managers to measure the progress of the project and take further steps accordingly. Second template we will check is Excel Budget Template. In this template, we can monitor all the expenditures of our project. It helps us in managing the budget of our project and also helps in comparing the budget of our project at different phases. Let's have a look at the budget template in Excel once. We can download this template from officetimeline.com. The Gantt chart towards the right is in accordance with the dates towards the left. If we fluctuate the date, we can see the template working. The start date for task 1 could be changed to 10th June. If we change this date to 10 June, we can see the fluctuation in the Gantt chart. So this is how we can use this template directly. Let's have a look at the third template now. Third template we will see is Excel Sprint Project Tracker Template. This template is used majorly in Agile projects where the project is made in several sprints or sessions. This template includes the start date, the end date and the duration of each task. We can also see the percentage completed of each task. Let's have a look at this sprint project tracker template as well. We can see the Gantt chart towards the right and the data towards the left. So if we change any data, we can see the Gantt chart changing. For example, we can change the data in sprint 2 feature 3. Let's change the start date to July 2nd. We can see the Gantt chart changing. This is how we can use this template directly to track our sessions. Let's have a look at the fourth Excel template. This template is Excel Project Tracker. In this template, we have the data of all the tasks with their status and owners. We can track the percentage of tasks completed and also compare the planned duration of the task to the actual duration of the task. After the critical part tracker, let's check the Excel Project Schedule template. This template helps in effective management of the project as it helps in monitoring the time that each task of the project takes. It provides a clear view of all the work associated with the project. Let's have a look at this template in Excel once. We can see the Gantt chart in accordance to the data. If we change the estimated hours at two places, let's say at the design review, we make it 15 hours instead of 5 hours. And at the create staffing plan, we make it 2 hours instead of 20 hours. We can see the Gantt chart fluctuating. This is how we can use this template to manage the schedule in a project. Moving forward, the next template we will see is Excel Project Status Report Template. This template helps us having a list of project deliverables and the risks associated with that project. This template helps the project managers about different crucial activities involved in a project. After this, we have Excel Milestone Tracker. The Milestone Tracker helps us in tracking or monitoring different tasks in a project. Project managers use this template to monitor the project performance with respect to the timelines. The last template we will see is Excel Project Planner. Excel Project Planner includes a list of tasks with the respected owners along with the start date and the end date of that task. This helps in monitoring each task and comparing the estimated task date with the actual ones. Let's have a look at this template in Excel. We can see the Gantt chart with respect to the data entered. Let's make changes at several places in the data. We can make this 22 to 24. We will make this 23 go to 2. And we can make this 5th September go to 15th September. And when we make the changes, we can realize the Gantt chart is fluctuating. So this is how we can use this template to plan a project effectively and efficiently. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Today, we learned about project management in Excel and more importantly, we learned why we use Excel for project management. Then we also learned how to make a Gantt chart in Excel along with having a look at several project management templates. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.